The National Rifle Association begins its annual convention Friday, days after the 146th mass shooting in this country. The gathering in Indianapolis has attracted Republican presidential hopefuls who want to showcase their support for Second Amendment rights. Robert Costa is in Indianapolis, where the convention is being held. Former Vice President Mike Pence came to the NRA convention intent on taking a harder, more conservative line on gun rights than former President Trump, calling for armed officers at all schools and swift executions of mass shooters. As long as there is breath in my lungs, I will stand with you to ensure that the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Pence was greeted with applause, but also some boos at the top of his remarks. A sign of his struggle still with some Trump voters. The former president, who was endorsed by the NRA during previous runs for the White House, said he'd push for greater freedoms for gun owners. And I will ask Congress to send a bill to my desk to learn national concealed carry reciprocity. Just like your driver's license or your marriage license, your Second Amendment must apply across state lines. The annual convention comes just days after the latest mass shooting in Louisville. 155 so far this year, a record pace. Among the firearm displays, attendees made clear what they believe shouldn't be blamed. I know it's not the gun, it's the person. If I lay my gun down and walk away, my gun's not going to kill somebody. A different view across the street this week as some Indiana teachers pleaded with state lawmakers to bolster gun laws. We're doing something wrong in this country. We need to do something about these guns. And Robert Costa joins us now. Robert, you spoke with the GOP presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy at the convention Friday. Let's listen. These red flag laws are actually ripe for abuse. That gets to the heart of the Second Amendment and what it was supposed to protect against. Now being potentially even weaponized against disfavored classes, I don't think that's a road we should go down. You know, big picture, how is he and others making their case to the NRA? Catherine, it is good to be with you from here in Indianapolis. Our conversation with Mr. Ramaswamy uh, was revealing of how Republicans across this convention are speaking about gun rights. They know that there are mass shootings that have happened in this country, sparked a lot of grief, a lot of debate in recent weeks. But when it comes to legislation or changes to gun laws, they would not like to see more restrictions. Many of them would not like to see more red flag laws in the states or nationally. And that's a reflection of a gun debate in this country that has been at this stalemate for quite some time. And the NRA was here to gather its supporters, bring the Republicans who are eyeing 2024 together, and try to say to themselves and each other that they're going to stick with that position. Former President Donald Trump and former Vice President Mike Pence, they also spoke on Friday. And they could soon be opponents, obviously, for the presidential nomination. Is there a common theme in what they're telling the NRA? There is a common theme, which is to protect gun rights, to not take any kind of step in reaction to the recent mass shootings. There are some tensions, though, and you, when you listen to the rhetoric when it comes to what Pence is saying versus what Trump is saying, Pence is really taking a hard line on gun rights, trying to distinguish himself. There's also some new reporting about Mike Pompeo and his possible bid for 2024. Pardon me, the sirens, I could not hear you. Finish your thought, and then I got a question about Mike Pompeo. Sure. Well, Mike Pompeo has decided not to run. This has happened across the Republican Party in the last few months. I sat down with Maryland Governor Larry Hogan a few weeks ago. He said he's not going to run. Now the former Secretary of State says he's out. He issued a statement saying some might be disappointed. Who have supported him in the past, but he might decide to run sometime in the future, just not in 2024. You're seeing right now a, a bit of a winnowing of the GOP field, the potential field, because former President Trump continues to consolidate his support in the Republican race. Some could still get in, like former Vice President Mike Pence, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis. Uh, and it's really about personalities for a lot of these voters. There's not a lot of debate here at the NRA convention about gun rights. It's more about who they believe in terms of the profile, in terms of their approach, could be a better standard bearer for the party. Pompeo is pulling himself out of that discussion at this moment. Just uh, really quickly, Robert, what do you think was the deciding factor for, Pom for Pompeo? Was it the fact that he just could not seem to get any traction in the polling? 
It's not so much about Pompeo's lack of traction. He wasn't actively running. This isn't like someone jumped in and then quickly jumped out. For Pompeo, he was someone who was really a confidant of Trump when Trump was president. You know that as much as anyone covering him over the years. He was close to Trump, CIA director, then secretary of state. Uh, and he is someone who amassed a lot of power working with the former president. The idea of jumping into the race would be, would necessitate at some time an attack potentially on Trump. So many running like Nikki Haley, considering running like Senator Tim Scott, are trying to run in their own lane to avoid attacking Trump. But Pompeo likely concluded that at the end of the day, going up against his former boss, not a perfect dynamic for him politically. And as he said in his statement, he's only 59 years old. He has some political road ahead. <laughs> Might as well not have that fight at this moment. He feels he's still got some mileage on the clock, obviously. Robert Costa, thank you for your analysis. Thank you.